what would require loads of quantum mechanics and the working of the world at the Planck scale is the principle that might explain the nature of our universe. A fundamental principle of quantum mechanics called unitarity states that the future must preserve the information of the past. But when objects fell into a black hole, their quantum information was thought to be lost for good, and the discovery that black holes were radiating bodies and eventually evaporated leaving nothing behind violated the concept of unitarity, arose the black hole information paradox. What if the quantum information never went into the black hole and somehow became a 2D imprint on the event horizon, and what went in was just a 3D projection? Well, this is the case, and the 2D imprint contains the information but totally scrambled. When a black hole evaporates, the evaporating horizon carries with it the 2D imprint of the object. Counterintuitively, the quantum information is proportional to the area of the event horizon and not the volume of the black hole, which can be calculated through this equation involving some simple constants. This is the holographic principle. Put forth by Herard, Adouft, and Leonard Susskind, this was expanded to the idea of the entire universe being a hologram, the fabric of reality being merely a projection from a lower dimensional imprint. It has been proved mathematically by Juan Maldacena in a hypothetical universe called an anti-visitor space-time. Hang on a second, what is an anti-visitor universe? For that, let's first understand what a visitor universe is. Named after Willem Dissiter, it is hypothetical, empty and has a positive curvature. Positive since a triangle drawn on it will have a sum of angles greater than 180 degrees. If the same space-time has a negative curvature, it becomes anti dissitor Here, the same triangle has angles which sum up to less than 180 degrees. Similar to the horizon of a black hole, the lower dimensional boundary of an ADS space-time acts like an encoder and the higher dimensional space-time acts like a 3D projection. This side is under the influence of gravity and the encoder has a special name, a conformal field theory or CFT. Simply put, CFT is a special quantum field theory dealing with force fields at the quantum level. Quantum theories and theories involving gravity don't get along. This ADS-CFT duality helps us understand the relation between a quantum-based theory and gravity. This is used as a tool in physics to equations such as these. Just as holograms are three-dimensional reconstructions obtained by reflecting light of a film, one day, we may be able to unscramble all the information that fell into a black hole, and that day, we'll add another dimension to our understanding.